Okay, so now we'll run you through the uh, improvements in 2014 to Appearances and Photo View 360. Okay, so the first improvements we've seen here are with regard to the Save As options. So if we just go into the Save As command here, what we can now do is export directly to a Luxology scene. So if you are using more higher end rendering solutions like Modo, we can directly output our models into a format that system can read. Another one that we've seen is the support for PNG files. So now if we specify this option here and just take a look at some of the options within here, we can now choose to use a screen capture or a print capture. We've also got control over whether or not we remove the background within here. So just nice if you're using these things in PowerPoint, you've not got to uh, do any rework when the image gets through. We can also control the DPI values with the print capture as well, so we're no longer limited to that 96 DPI. Okay, so let's just come out of there. We'll uh, take a look now at the introduction of some new scenes into the system as well. So if we go into our scenes over here, uh, within presentation scenes, we've now got some landscape and urban ones within here. So if we take a look at one of these, I can apply the landscape image uh, to my file and we'll just take a look at the further control options that we've got within here so if I just edit the scene one of the things that I can do is control the ability to stretch the image to fit the window so there if we're using a widescreen display like I am that's quite nice if we do set the background to use the environment we've got some nice controls under here uh, with the ability to flatten the floor. We can also control the environment size and the horizon height. So if we just zoom out and take a look, you'll see we can get some really nice effects with how uh, our product looks in an environment like so. So some quite nice controls there and it's worth having a fiddle around with those and just seeing what the new ones are like. If we just switch back to a default display type, I want to talk now about some of the new additions we've seen to PhotoView 360. So one of those is within the options page we now have a new rendering type uh, called cartoon rendering. So historically we've had the contour rendering but we now have the ability to do a cartoon rendering. And if we take a look uh, just to save a bit of time here this is the type of effect that we can get with that rendering style. So it makes your images look uh, more sort of hand drawn than your typical render does. We've also seen the introduction of a new light type called sunlight within PhotoView 360. So we can select a reference for a north direction or leave it as it is like so. We can specify a location uh, in the world uh, with some predefined ones under here or alternatively we can specify a location. We can choose our time zone, the particular date and also the time of day as well. So that will tell us the length of the day, the times of sunrise and things like that. So if we add that into our design here, you'll see we get a much more realistic sort of shadow type than we have had in the past. One of the things we can also do with uh, those sunlights is actually create what we call a solar access study. So with sunlight applied, we can now choose to create a solar access study at a fixed date with a variable time so if you wanted to understand what your product looked like on a certain day across the whole day we could see that or alternatively a fixed time and a variable date so for example if you were positioning solar panels on a roof you may want to look at uh, you know the amount of sunlight they were getting you know at, at midday every day for a year for something like that to try and understand how effective they would be so we can take a look at the results of a solar access study uh, by just switching over to a video here. So we've got one that we created earlier. So you can see that the sunlight will accurately move around, just giving us, as I say, that understanding of how uh, the shadows appear on our product throughout a specified time range. So if we just summarise what we've seen here, so firstly we've seen the ability to save as a PNG with controls over the DPI and whether or not we see the background. We've seen some new backgrounds and environments, also with the ability to flatten the floor there. Within PhotoView 360 we've got a new cartoon rendering style, uh, we've got the addition of a new 
light called sunlight. With that we can then also create solar access studies as well. Another improvement we've seen to PhotoView 360 now is the support for uh, network rendering for animations. So we can now output sections of the animation to other machines to speed that along. Okay, so Alex is going to run us through some assembly mate improvements now.